Hello, my name is Eleanor Duval. It is a great pleasure to present to you on behalf of all of the authors, a recent study called Tape Strips Capture Atopic Dermatitis Related Changes in Non-Lesional Skin Throughout Maturation, which was done as a collaboration between the dermatology departments at Manzana School of Medicine in New York and Northwestern University in Chicago. The study was supported by a research grant from the Leo Foundation and was general. Atopic dermatitis, or ED, is the most common inflammatory skin disease, usually presenting during the first year of life. ED may persist during maturation and is clinically and molecularly heterogeneous, displaying age-specific characteristics with potentially meaningful therapeutic implications. Given that the extensive therapeutic pipeline for ED has stemmed from improved understanding of disease pathogenesis, there is a strong rationale to characterize the evolution of the AD skin phenotype from infancy to adulthood. In this study, 44 moderate severe patients in consecutive age groups and 52 age-appropriate controls were enrolled. We chose to investigate tape, tape strips as a minimally invasive technique to explore the patterns of gene expression among the different pediatric AD age groups from lesional and non-lesional AD samples and normal skin samples from age-appropriate healthy controls. And we assess 74 AD-related markers using RT-PCR. Here we present our results as a heat map of the immune and barrier genes that were assessed in tape strips, in tape strips skin, um, in lesional and non-lesional type of dermatitis versus skin um, from um, healthy controls. Overall, we noted a transition from blue to red, from normal to AD skin, in all age groups for immune genes at the bottom part of the seed map, indicating upregulation of genes in patients versus controls. Importantly, non lesional skin in the center of each age group column in the heat map was significantly upregulated as well. These genes included markers of general inflammation and innate immunity, such as MMP12, IL-8, and IL-6, T-cell activation markers, such as ICOS, and TH2-related markers, including key AD-related markers, such as CCL17 or TARC, and IL-13, across all AD age groups. The top part of this heat map presents an overall red to blue transition indicating the downregulation of barrier-related genes across all AD age groups as compared to normal controls. An analysis using word clouds by fold change represented by relative letter size in lesional and non-lesional tape strips across pediatric age groups shows that downregulation of terminal differentiation markers was captured by tape strips in non-lesional skin, as seen in the bottom row of this figure, primarily in infants, including filagrin, urethrin, and periplakian. These fi findings are better captured by tape strips as compared with previously published biopsy results, perhaps due to the thinner epidermis of infants, resulting in a greater dermis to epidermis ratio, and thus a relative dilution of epidermal barrier, barrier markers in biopsies as compared to tape strips. In summary, tape strips are ideal to assess epidermal biomarkers in pediatric atopic dermatitis patients, capturing immune and barrier related markers in both lesional and non-lesional skin. Non-lesional skin may represent AD related systemic activity, and thus normalization of non-lesional skin abnormalities may represent an ultimate therapeutic target. As new therapeutic options become available, tape strips may prove to be a painless technology to monitor and potentially predict response in pediatric patients. I would like to thank the principal investigators of this project, Dr. Emma Gutman and Dr. Amy Paller, and thank you for watching.